I wanted to follow focus from my camera and I was looking at domestic options and there was actually a domestic option. Honda Garage out of Montana. They developed this for a Kickstarter. It's called the $50 Follow Focus. And I asked them to send me a copy and they were nice enough to send me a whole kit. So this is how to use it and this is how to set it up. First of all, when you get it, you're gonna get two rails, a base plate, a, 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 a belt, and then the $50 Follow Focus. This is the entire kit. The $50 Follow Focus, you can buy it. You can buy these things individually too. So how do you set it up? First of all, I, come, I put the camera on its back and then I put this rubber band around the lens focus ring. The next thing I'm going to do is attach the rails, and this is pretty tricky at first, but I kind of like to work on a flat surface, leaving the camera on its back, and then position the base plate to the height I want it to. And so I want it right about there. I'm then going to pick up the camera with my other hand, position it on the base plate, and then tighten. Kind of tricky at first, but you're going to get used to it. And then if you got the base plate on there, you won't have to do this all the time. So this is kind of like just a, you have to do it a couple, to a couple times. So I'm going to get it tight. Once I get it tight, I attach it to the base plate on my video head. There's a screw on the bottom of the base plate, so it's pretty easy. And then I simply drag, drop it into my video head. I'll tighten it right here. Then I think it's easier to attach the follow focus. So basically you want the red end of the follow focus to point towards the camera. And you're gonna to wanna to loosen it up a little bit. So at first it's a little tight. You just wanna loosen up the little red handle on the bo bottom there and then just move it in. And then I tighten it slightly here. So to put on the belt, I put it around the lens and then around the follow focus. And then I loosen it up again and pull it back out to the tightness I want. And then basically I just tighten down from there. So here I'm just playing with it to get the tension I want. And then I just tighten it. One thing you want to check out is clearance. So you want to make sure that the follow focus doesn't hit the, vi the uh, video plate. If it does, you're going to have a lot of troubles uh, moving it and loosening it up. So that's just something to keep in mind. So here it is in action. There's also a cool feature. If you don't have enough um, range on it, you can loosen the handle and then just move it over a little bit and then and then tighten it and you can use it again. So this gives you a really big range. And it's pretty intuitive too, so it's a pretty cool idea. They also sent me two upgrades, the big lens upgrade and the geared adapter. So that's the geared adapter and the big lens upgrade. So how do you install this onto the, onto the $50 follow focus? Well, it's the same process for both of them. So the fall focus uses a D-shaft ring, or a D-shaft, and that means that one part of this shaft is flat. And basically, when you find that flat part, you're going to remove the screw on the um, base one. So this is the base adapter, I guess. And it comes with a small little driver. And you just want to loosen the screw a little bit. You don't want to take it out all the way, because you're probably going to lose it. So just, lo just one or two turns left to do it, just enough so you can remove it. So underneath that lives two washers, a flat one and then a wavy one. And you want to make sure that these are both don't fall out. So pretty important to make sure these are on there. So I just keep it on its back like that and then install things on top of it. So the D-shaft is pretty important and it's going to give you a really strong connection. And the trick behind that is when I installed this big lens upgrade, you can see that I want the screw to be on that flat part of the D collar of the D shaft. So right there, that's the flat part. That's where I want the screw to be. And that's going to give you the strongest connection. So here, I'm gonna take the big lens upgrade and this is not the way you want it on. You actually want it on the other way, but I'll reverse it real quick. And then simply line up the screw with the flat part of the D-shaft. It doesn't have to be on that, but that's where it's going to be the strongest. So that's the best way to do it. Again, tighten. Tighten to feel. And the same process is going to be for the geared adapter too. 
So I think the big lens upgrade is really essential because it gives you a little bit more extra range. And here I'm using it with a belt that's way too long. But I think my final kit is going to be the big lens upgrade with a little bit of a smaller belt. I just like the extra range it gives me. And it's not that much more, so I think it's a pretty good purchase. But the cool thing is the geared adapter. So the geared adapter is going to allow people to get even more customizable. Maybe you want to 3D print your own adapters and then I saw the Honda Garage uh, has started making some special adapters, but it's going to give you that much more control because it's specific to the lens. And then I think there's also a, um, you can also buy a belt that's reversed to get those gears on it. So at $120, I think this is a really great, um, this is a really great follow focus, but it's not perfect. And I think at $120, you shouldn't look to be, look for it to be perfect. But I do like the fact that it's domestically made and the fact that it's really innovative. I think if you look at a lot of the other ones in the market, they're the same thing with the wheel and they all look pretty similar and they're all made overseas. So having someone that's making it domestically and is working on kind of a modular system that can really add stuff to it, I think is really great. So at $120 for that kit, I would really recommend it. And I want to thank uh, Hunter Garage for sending it out to me. Like this video and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks.